Hello everyone. Welcome to Math for You. How to solve x plus seven factorial over x plus three factorial equals five thousand and forty. Then to find the value of x, so first in the numerator, you see math x plus seven times x plus six times x. Plus five times x plus four times x plus three factorial over x plus three factorial equals five thousand and forty. Then we simplify this with this with this. So x plus seven. Times x plus six times x plus five times x plus four equals five thousand and forty. Then x plus seven times x plus four. Okay. Times x plus six times x. Plus five equals five thousand and forty. Now we open the bracket. So x times x is x squared plus four x plus seven x plus seven times four is twenty eight. Bracket. Then times x squared plus five x. Plus six x plus thirty equals five thousand and forty. Then x squared plus four x plus seven x equals eleven x plus twenty eight times x squared plus eleven x plus thirty equals. Five thousand and forty. The next step: x squared plus eleven x plus twenty-eight is same as twenty-nine minus one. Bracket times x squared plus eleven x plus thirty is same as twenty-nine plus one. Equals five thousand and forty. Now, this part is common, so we let x squared plus eleven x plus twenty nine equals t. So our equation can be written as t minus one bracket times t plus one. Equals five thousand and forty. Okay, we know a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So we change into this form. So it's t squared minus one equals five thousand and forty. Then we take this. To the right side, so t squared equals five thousand and forty plus one. So t squared equals five thousand and forty one. Then we apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel the square. So t equals Plus or minus seventy one. In here, we let x squared plus eleven x plus twenty nine equals t. Now t is plus or minus seventy one. Okay, from x squared plus eleven x plus twenty nine equals t. Now t equals Plus or minus 
71. So we have two cases, which is the first one, x squared plus 11x plus 29 equals 71. And another case is x squared plus 11x plus 29 equals negative 71. So x squared plus 11x equals, we take this to the right side. So 71 minus 29. So x squared plus 11x equals 42. Now we take this to the left side. So x squared plus 11x minus 42 equals 0. 11x, 11 is same as 40 minus 3. So here it can be written as x squared plus 14x minus 3x minus 42 equals 0. In this part, x is common. So we take x out of the bracket. So x times x plus 40 minus, in this part, 3 is common. So 3 times x minus 14 equals 0. Now we can take x plus 14 out of the bracket. Then times x minus 3 equals 0. So x plus 14 equals 0. Or x minus 3 equals 0. x plus 14 equals 0. So x equals negative 14. x minus 3 equals 0. So x equals 3. The next step in here, x squared plus 11x equals negative 71 minus 29. Then x squared plus 11x equals negative 100. Then we take this to the left side. So x squared plus 11x plus 100 equals 0. Now, from this Kramer-Lenz formula, is equal to b squared minus 4ac, so equals 11 squared minus 4 times a. a is 1 times c is 100. 11 squared equals 121. Minus 4 times 1 times 100 is 400. The value is less than 0. So we don't have a real solution. So this solution will reject it. Because our equation is x plus 7 factorial over x plus 3 factorial. Then from denominator, the value should be greater or equals 0. It means x plus 3 factorial should be greater than or equals 0. It means x plus 3 is greater than or equals 0. So x greater than or equals negative 3. So this value will reject it. So x equals 3 is the final answer. Now we check x plus 7 factorial over x plus 3 factorial equals 5040. The value of x is 3. So 3 plus 7 factorial over 3 plus 3 factorial equals 
10 factorial over 6 factorial. 10 factorial is a mess. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial over 6 factorial. We simplify. So to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 equals 90 times 56 equals 5040. So x equals 3. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.